You can call it the art of fighting without fighting. Hi, and welcome back to Kung Fu Shrimp. I like to provide a challenge for Bruce when feeding him, to try and provide some enrichment and also make sure he doesn't get bored. I've done this in the past by hiding food around his tank or by offering him live prey from time to time. But today, I thought I'd try something a bit different. What would happen if I offered Bruce some food he couldn't run away with? So, I've secured one of his favourite meals, a tasty cockle, to a bit of coral skeleton I had lying around, and let's see how he gets on. It's no surprise Psycho's first out to take a look. But Bruce isn't far behind. He seems immediately surprised by the fact he can't pick it up and run away. And it's not long before he tries force to solve his problems. After his first foray fails, Bruce decides to take a rest and reevaluate his strategy. The fish all seem keen to get in on the action, but even they aren't brave enough while Bruce is standing guard. I want to take this opportunity to say I'm planning to do a Q&A for my next upload. I'm going to go through the comments from all my previous videos to try and answer any questions you have on what it's like to keep a mantis shrimp. So. If you have any burning questions, please be sure to post in the comments and you might find yourself featured in my next video. For this first attempt, I just used an elastic band to secure the cockle. This seems to be really confusing Bruce. He keeps investigating and striking under the base of the cockle, as this would normally be where it attaches itself. And he can't figure out why it isn't working. When he still fails to get hold of the food, it's back to his cave for another think. But it's not long before he's back out with a new plan of attack. He goes for the coral skeleton this time, which does seem to do some damage, but fails to release his snack, and then he's back to probing for weaknesses again. starting to feel a bit sorry for him at this point, but he seems so determined I want to give him one more go to see if he can figure it out. Psycho seems to have decided that as Bruce isn't eating, it must be fair game. But Bruce gives a quick lunge to let him know who's boss. Finally, Bruce seems to decide he's not going to be able to smash it loose, and instead decides to eat it where it is. A 
couple of smashes to the meat inside the cockle seems to be enough to get a mouthful, and then it's back to his lair to eat. This doesn't last long, however, and he's soon back for more. He does take a moment to remind Beast who's in charge, though, after witnessing him bullying Killer, but then it's back to the action. I think he's just decided to eat what he can at this point. I'm definitely feeling sorry for him now, so I think I'll remove the elastic band if he gives me the opportunity. quick nibble for the fish, and then I risk life and limb by putting my hand between a hungry mantis and its food. But Bruce knows who looks after him, and leaves me alone. As a reward for not attacking me, I remove the elastic band, and decide to hand feed him for the first time which, infuriatingly, happens just out of camera shot. But I can't let that stand, so next day I hand feed him again, and this time, capture it for posterity. So, that was definitely a brain teaser for Bruce, and I'm quite happy it gave him a mental as well as a physical workout. I do plan on doing more of this type of feeding in the future, however next time I think I'll either glue or putty the cockle on. This should give Bruce a much better chance of smashing it loose, as the elastic band allowed too much movement for his smashers to be effective. I also have a vague idea about skewering some food on a wooden dowel to see if he can break it, but I still need to work out the logistics for that one. That about wraps it up for this video, but as always, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, and if you have any questions or comments, post them down below, and maybe you'll be featured in my upcoming Q&A video. Finally, if you don't want to miss out on Bruce's future adventures, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps a lot, and it makes Bruce smile. So, until next time, thanks for watching.